new details tonight on the search for two NFL players wanted for an alleged robbery in Miramar earlier this week. CBS 4 Ted Scouten is live at the Broward Jail in Fort Lauderdale with more on what the pair is accused of doing. Ted. Yeah, Jim and Francis, tonight we are hearing from the attorney of one of those players who said that his, his client did not participate in any crime. Uh, meanwhile, police are still looking for both players. Arrest warrants have been issued. I don't really have no worries and nothing. I don't live my life in fear. Seattle Seahawks cornerback Quentin Dunbar is speaking to reporters just hours after he's accused of robbing a group of people at a Miramar home, but before an arrest warrant was issued. He was recently traded to Seattle from the Redskins and said he was looking forward to getting onto the field. I don't have no worries in Seattle. I'm happy to be in Seattle. And I just want to go out there and play ball and help a team out of the now Dunbar and friend DeAndre Baker, a cornerback for the New York Giants, are wanted. The two are accused of pulling guns and robbing several people at a house party Wednesday night. According to the arrest warrant, a witness said at this party, attendees were playing cards, video games, and gambling. The police report goes on to say DeAndre Lamar Baker and another person, identified as Shy, flipped over the table and brandished firearms. That Baker and Shy pointed firearms at the face of a victim, and Baker walked over to him and took his money, $4,000, and a watch valued at $17,500. The report shows they're accused of taking $12,400 in cash and watch is valued at $61,100. Baker is wanted for four counts of armed robbery and four counts of aggravated assault. Dunbar faces four counts of robbery with a firearm. Dunbar's attorney said he did not participate in any robbery, that four alleged victims and a witness changed their stories saying any robbery or assault did not involve Mr. Dunbar, that he fled the home. Before becoming professional athletes, Baker attended Miami Northwestern Senior High, then on to college in Georgia. Dunbar went to Booker T. Washington High School in Miami, then played college ball for the University of Florida. In the arrest report, a witness told police the two lost $70,000 at a party in Miami a couple of days before this alleged incident. At the moment, neither man is in custody. The NFL and both teams are aware of those arrest warrants. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.